Are you looking to start your business, but the question of legal protection, whether that's an S-Corp, LLC, or sole proprietorship, and which is the right path to take, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm talking about the exact best route to take for somebody starting out and what you should turn to, whether you should turn to go immediately to the LLC, whether you should operate under a sole proprietorship to start out, and what it actually an S-Corp does for you inside of your business. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Isaac Bjork, the founder of To Be Green Consulting, where I help guys starting out in the lawn landscape industry reach $10,000 a month. For those of you that don't know, I've made that mission for me because I started out in the industry back in high school and then found different ways that I can help guys starting out and I'm sharing that expertise through this YouTube channel. Before I start, I want to let you know that I just opened enrollment for my free program, the Lawn Care Business Mastery Startup Course. It's going to be open to you if you hit my link down in the description below. Again, it's a totally free program because I'm starting out looking for guys who I can help and getting my name out there. Let's get started. Sole proprietorship. This is just a basic business license. It gives you the right to operate your business and it gives, gives the business the ability to operate under you as a person. It's not linked as its own separate entity. It's just linked to you and your person. That doesn't mean that it can't be have it have its own business name, but it, again, all the risk, all the taxes, they're just going to be linked to you as a person. For tax reasons, you're not going to need what's called EIN. You're probably just going to be operating alone with no employees, and all taxes are going to be submitted just to your personal, and you will have to do like self-employment tax but no excise tax no other things that you would need the EIN for now another thing that I want to say when starting out although this is the best first step for you to take if you're just starting out from ground zero and all you've done is watch some videos like this one this and you're attracted by the industry this the task itself and what the lifestyle can offer you you do not necessarily have to go out and license your business from the start. If you're in that position, what you want to do, you just want to go out and get experience. You want to try it out. You want to try out the industry. You want to go mow a couple lawns, see how you like it, see what you, how you could fit in and see what you think about the business model as its own. After that point, and again, some of you guys are going to have different equipment. You are going, some of you are going to borrow perhaps your parents' equipment, just starting out, see what, how you like it. And once you start committing to your business, once you start registering your business and taking it to the next level, that's when you're going to open up a sole proprietorship. LLC. Next, this is what's called limited, limited liability insurance. No, no, no. Limited liability company. It, I misspoke, I apologize. This, what, how I mentioned a sole proprietorship, it's linked, links you and your business as one. This is linked as its own separate entity that is very important because in the case of such as a, such as a lawsuit they cannot go for your personal assets only what the business owns and all of its assets that's important because you do not want to risk your own personal life for the business what an LLC also allows you to do it allows you to have different employee protections and for payment structure, this is when you, like I said, this is when you have an EIN because you want to start taxing just on the business side and not under your personal name. An S Corp. Some people confuse S Corp with these other two, which are sort of business linking identities. An S Corp is just a mode for paying, most people use it just for paying you, the owner. What an S Corp allows you to do, because I should go back, an LLC, when you pay yourself with an LLC you and an S Corp, I mean a sole proprietorship, you pay, as, first, before you start, as an employer, you pay your employees, you're going, to play in, you're going to pay employment tax. So when you pay yourself, first you pay employment tax as an employer, and then when you pay yourself, you pay personal income. So they hit you on two different avenues. What S-Corp allows you to do, it allows you to link 
you, the owner, as an employee for the business, and you're only paying the personal income, not the employer's tax. That's important because you're effectively cutting the cost in half compared to when you have to pay self-employment tax when you are doing under an LLC or in a social sole proprietorship. This is the step that you have to take. First, you start out, you learn what you want to do with the industry, you learn that you actually want to progress, you link as a sole proprietorship. Then you transition to an LLC when you start having employees and you want you grow bigger, you have bigger equipment, and you want to be covered for possible liabilities. Then once you see your business start flourishing, you want to start cutting a paycheck for yourself, that's when you file as an S-Corp. S-Corp is not the same, is S-Corp is not similar to these two in how you register your business. It's just how the owner and a couple employees are paid. Now, another thing in terms of legal protection is the issue of insurance. Again, insurance is some one of those other payments that you really wish you had it when something happens. And no matter how careful we are, when we go to a certain size, accidents are going to happen. A window is going to break. We're going to hit a dent in a car. We're going to do various, perhaps, damages to the lawn, perhaps damages to the siding. Various different things can happen. And that's the type of insurance you want to cover. You don't necessarily need every type of insurance. And this, I would start getting insurance when, right as I link for the sole proprietorship. Just get insurance for perhaps damages that you could cover and a good quote for how much you want covered is around 50 to a hundred thousand dollars in damages that's going to, going to protect you from starting out and not be overly massive in terms of payments so by the end of this video you know exactly a route that you can take and when starting out your business for legal protection you know that you do not need to stand step out and get a sole proprietorship just when starting out if you don't know yet what you want to do with the industry. Next, when you com commit to your business, then you're going to link your sole proprietorship, then get an LLC, and eventually when you're at the level, you might start paying yourself as an S-Corp. That's going to give you the best tax advantages. Again, if this video appealed to you, I want you to hit my link down in the description below where it's going to be an interview with me, a free one-to-one -one consultation about where your business is going, how I can help you, and it's going to be a totally free program starting out. I'm just having this open enrollment for the rest of June because I need to start getting clients so I can start getting my name out there. This has been Isaac Bjork with 2B Green Consulting. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.